All right, you guys, I got the package in the mail today and I am super pumped to show you what's inside. This is actually what the video is about. Uh, I wanna run two updates by you real quick. First one, my garage is still empty. Uh, I am boatless. I had a motor issue, but Mr. Robert Hale down at Hale Marine in Savannah is taking care of me. Uh, if you guys need any kind of service or warranty issues, he warranties uh, Mercury and Yamaha. Head on down to see him. I'll put his uh, information in the description below. Uh, not sponsored by him at all. I just want to give him a big shout out. Him and his brother are uh, just really great guys to deal with if you're down here in the low country. Uh, second thing. Yes, I'm a fireman. That's come up in some of my videos. Um, unfortunately, I hurt my back and I had to have back surgery a couple weeks ago. A micro disectomy. Um, I'm feeling a lot better and the recovery is, is uh, coming through pretty good. But it's keeping me off the water, unfortunately, so I'm not able to get out there and get fresh fishing content for you. I've got a couple more videos that I'm uh, working on right now, putting together some stuff that you guys are really going to enjoy. Um, so don't worry, there's more fishing content soon to come. Uh, so if you guys see these three rods in the background, I used to have two more up here. They were uh, Pen Fear 6000, super, super heavy rods. I sold them because I wasn't using them. They're big, bulky, clunky to work with, but I am now taking that money, reconsolidating it down as part of my Father's Day gift, and I am working on a nice bull redfish setup. So let's go ahead and dive into uh, the box and let me show you what I got. All right, so let's take a look. Let me get my little uh, X-Acto knife out here. Uh, while I open this box up, I wanna remind you guys that I still have the 1,000 subscriber giveaway going on. Uh, that giveaway is gonna run until July 1st. July 1st, I'll put a video out uh, explaining uh, who won and, and what they got inside this box. So remember, all you guys gotta do is comment on any of my videos in the month of June. I'll uh, randomly pull a video and then pull the comments and whoever it is is gonna get this box it's full of goodies. So I officially was given the opportunity to try out some lures from this company called Outcast Lures. Uh, they reached out to me blindly. I'm not sponsored by them. They just said, hey, Dan, we see you're out here fishing in the low country area. Would you be interested in trying out some of our, of our lures? So I'm going to use those lures and tie it into a couple videos I do out in the uh, near shore uh, fishing trips. They make really nice big diving plugs, really big uh, topwater popping plugs. So I'm excited to use that. It's definitely uh, something for the big girls. And uh, we will do a video on that. So... Outcast Lures, if you guys get a chance, go check out their website, outcastlures.com. Again, I'm not sponsored by them, but they make some really cool stuff. All right, so let's take a look and see what came for me for Father's Day. Z-Man Golden Boy. This is a new color that I've seen out just recently. I don't know if it's a brand new color for Z-Man, but it's new to me. Uh, it's got that gold flake in it. I preach and talk about in a lot of my videos how this gold flake does really well in our dark tannic water, somehow that gold flake shimmers through. It grabs the fish's attention and that's all you need for a bite. So look at the glitter and the gold glitter in this thing, man. That is like a, that's like a screaming neon sign saying, come eat me. And of course the elastic stretchiness, you can't beat that. So we'll get that out of the way. Next, Berkeley Power Pro 20 pound line. That is what I'm going to be using to spool this Shimano Nasky 4000. So you guys might be wondering, why am I using a freshwater saltwater hybrid reel to target these large fish? Um, well, first things first, I sat down and I do my research like I do with a lot of my other products. This Shimano Nasky uh, has 24 pounds of drag. That 24 pounds of drag is more than enough to bring in a nice 35 inch, 40 inch bull redfish. Uh, combined with that 20 pound Power Pro, I'll probably throw a 40 or 50 pound leader on it. I should have no issues. So straight out of the box, the handle comes collapsed. All you gotta do is just tighten a little screw on the back side. It'll snug everything up and check that out. That's like a Ferrari, you guys. These Shimano Naskis have some of the high end features like you'll get in the Stratic and whatnot, x ship technology, uh, it's got really good quality bearings that they put in there. Um, it doesn't have all of the seals that you would get on the higher end uh, reels, but you know what? Take care of your equipment. When you guys get home, just simply spray lightly with a water hose around the top. Do not spray water up in here. 
It, you don't want water in there. That's where you start getting a bunch of problems with getting water inside the reel itself. Spray it down real lightly with water, wipe it off with a rag, take a little WD-40, spray your rag with WD-40 nice and light, and then just give everything a nice wipe off. That's gonna clean and get any more salt residue that's on it off. That's also gonna add a little bit of waterproof uh, protection that WD-40 has. Um, I don't worry about any kind of crazy chemical with WD-40 because from all the research I've read, WD-40 is made, it's got some sort of a, a fish oil product in it anyway. So, I mean, heck, why not use fish to catch fish? The weight is not much more heavier than that 3000 NASCI I have. I've been using my 3000 NASCI for roughly three years. I got it paired right now with a seven foot six uh, Falcon Clearwater Series uh, medium power rod. And I have had no issues with that 3000 uh, reel. So why not step up to the 4000, a little bit big brother, more drag. I think it's five or six pounds more drag than my 3000. As you guys see in my videos, I use that reel to pull in 30 inch red fish without problem. I can slow them down and put the brakes on and that's even with 10 pound braid. Uh, so with this 20 pound braid, we should have no problems. What else is in the box? You get the schematics. Keep this on the workbench next to you when you're uh, servicing your, your reels and you can just go literally piece by piece. It shows you exactly what is what, what goes where and in what order. Uh, and the last thing that's in the box is spacers so these little guys are important always keep these never get rid of them here's why so this is your reel spool when you go to service your reel and you put it all back together after cleaning and whatnot these little spacers get lost really quick i hope to not drop any here those spacers is what's important for uh, loading your line on flush and even. If you guys get out there and you start fishing and you look down at your reel and you notice that your line is spooled up fat on one side and skinny down here on the bottom or vice versa, you can very simply undo it like I just did. Uh, take one of these spacers, pop a spacer on, tighten it back down, readjust, um, take your line out, put your line back in, see how that sets. Do that a couple times so you get laid in there, right? You may have to add one or take one away but that's why they give you extras. That is it, you guys. That's gonna wrap up the review for this Shimano Nasky reel. Um, it's about a million degrees in my garage right now, so uh, got, the, got the rod coming pretty soon. Uh, I'll do a review on it. I got some really cool things coming up uh, for the channel. I'm very, very excited to keep putting this content out for you guys. Again, if you haven't got a chance to subscribe, uh, hit, that, hit that subscribe button down in the bottom corner. If you hit the bell, it will notify you when I put out my videos. Um, if you like the video, drop a thumbs up. If you wanna leave a comment, leave a comment. If you guys don't know, YouTube uses comments and they use thumb ups to put my videos and other YouTuber videos in front of viewers that are searching for videos. Um, it's like a search engine optimizer code. There's some analytics that go into it and, and, and whatnot, but that's what it does. So the more comments, the more thumbs up, the more this channel gets more subscribers, gets more attention and continues to grow. So that's it. Thank you guys. Um, you guys rock. Take care. God bless.